Welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been a little while. Feels really good to be back out here though. It's been way too long since I've come out to do an overnighter. And uh, we have a beautiful spring day today. It's warm and comfortable and it's a little bit breezy and the sun is out. Anyways, it's gorgeous. Found a buttload of moose poop. It looks really fresh, but it also could just be wet because it's raining. It's been raining a lot. A big pile there. A big pile there. Bear Essentials Bucksaw today. That's convenient. There's some birds like right on the ground. Cool. Okay, I've been keeping pretty busy. Collected this big pile of like dead lower branches and stuff. Um, been splitting wood and I collected some boughs. I don't need much, I don't think, for tonight. Just a little bit to probably up off the ground, but I think I got enough with that under there. And, uh,. Yeah, I'm getting a little hungry, so I think I'm ready to start a fire soon. Yeah. Wrapped up like a little burrito. Oh, that's warm already.
me show you guys what's for dinner tonight. I got a potato, some broccolini as my veggie, and a, and a teeny tiny little steak. Cutting all the way through, just about three quarters of the way, like that. And my little spice kit. These guys, I'm just gonna kind of steam in here. I realized I forgot a fork, so kind of sucks. But let's see how we did. Oh yeah, it's a little rare, but that's okay. That's fine by me. That's the thickest part too, so not bad. Oh, <laughs> it looks good. Okay, looks better. I'm ready to eat. This looks amazing. That's really good. Mm. We'll see how that potato did. Alright. Let's try it. Ooh, this is cooked enough, I think. That's super good. Hot though. Whew, a little hot. Oh, I almost forgot. I know it can be kind of hard to get away from because it's like everything is wrapped in plastic. Everything you get from the grocery store basically. For bringing stuff out here, I really try to not use single use plastics. And I like to challenge myself and try not to use like. Uh, like even plastic Tupperwares or anything like that. 
I make my own beeswax wraps. Um, I'll show you. So yeah, it just like, it's hard to see, but it just wraps up in there. And uh, it's just basically um, a piece of 100% cotton cloth. And you coat it in beeswax, and I add a little bit of coconut oil. Throw it in the oven till it all melts into the fabric. And then take it out, cool it off, and you have a plastic-free wrap for your food. I don't put meat or anything in there, anything that gets too messy and hard to clean, because um, you can't use hot water to clean it off. So stuff like cheese is good, or jerky, anything that won't get really like kind of nasty. For things like steak and uh, any kind of meats you want to bring out, Again, they come from the grocery store wrapped in plastic, but then um, if you buy unbleached parchment paper, it's completely non-toxic and you can burn it and, and it's even compostable. Whereas the bleach stuff is, uh, has toxins in it, it's not very good for you and not very good for the environment. But just a few little tidbits to get away from all the plastic that it can take to bring stuff out here. And then um, we have a little local zero waste store where I live, so I'm pretty lucky. But they sell things like this. So this is this is where I keep my coffee. Stainless steel. I know, it's like, it feels like a losing battle trying to get away from plastics. Little things here and there make a big difference. And even these little spice jars. And they're just little glass jars with little uh, cork stoppers on them. Got them wrapped in this little piece of leather to keep them uh, protected so they don't break. And uh, obviously I wouldn't take this stuff on like a canoe trip because a canoe trip you're talking like trying to go lightweight and stuff where this is just like a couple of kilometers hike at the most. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, little things here and there that we can do to not use plastic. So Bushcraft Spain has this pretty neat pouch. It's oil skin on like the outside and then on one side on the inside is uh, wool cloth. And basically if you flip it inside out with the wool on the outside, the inside is then all oil skin. And you can basically stuff it with like leaves and debris. Obviously you want it dry so it doesn't cool you down at night, but basically you can stuff it all in, like all this dry stuff, and uh, fill it, and it becomes like a nice pillow with uh, just a wool feeling to it, which is kind of cool. <gasps> a, a huge owl just landed in the tree right there. Hey buddy. Hey. Oh, it's beautiful. They fly so silently, it's insane. He's gonna let me get up and get closer. Smell the smoke. The owl is right above me. It's beautiful. Hey, buddy. <gasps> Whenever I move, he looks down at me.
I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the night, and um, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. A little bit chilly this morning. Not too bad at all. Didn't rain last night, which is great. Guys, what I got for breakfast? Got a naan bread. Got a little bit of cream for my coffee. Coffee. That's just my spices again. Got some bacon wrapped up in there. Some cheese. Yeah. And in here. One farm fresh egg. That's probably Water's gonna stay right here to stay warm. I gotta figure out, I gotta get this bacon rolling here.
I'm going to hard boil this egg. It's the only way I can think of to cook it right now. And I'm so hungry. I believe the egg is done, so I just dumped it out. I think I'm going to cook this bacon in here. And, uh, because it's not cooking very quickly on the stick. Hey. A bit of a <laughs> greasy breakfast. <laughs> that's alright. Oh, that's hot. Oh, it's hot. Whew. Okay. Cut this guy up. Ah, it's a little overdone. That's alright. See how she does. Mm. So awesome that it hasn't rained yet today. This bag I was showing you guys yesterday worked out quite well. What I did was I stuffed this guy, which is my like ground mat sit pad, wool on this side and oil skin on the other side. Um, I just stuffed that into this bag, which is made of the same materials. And then uh, I also put a bunch of like just debris and stuff from the forest floor in there, but it all got pretty compacted. But worked great for a pillow. This hemp rope from Bushcraft Spain is super cool. There's a plane. This stuff is just so neat.
Fire is completely out. I dumped the rest of my water on it and then just stirred it all around with my hand just to make sure there's absolutely no heat left in this like sandy stuff that is underneath. But the stuff that I carefully lifted off. There we are, there's camp. Fire is all covered up properly put out and then covered over with everything that I took from that area to dig down to make sure my fire was safe. And then I dispersed my boughs so they wouldn't just kind of rot all in that one spot. We're all cleaned up and ready to go. I know my bag looks really full but it's actually not too heavy. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And uh, stay tuned to the channel. I've got some different things I kind of want to try out. I guess that's it. Thanks guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.